Are you looking for a great set of knights to help you out in your Warhammer Age of Sigmar battles? Preferably from the cities of Sigmar? Well, if so, let me show you what the Order Serpentis has in mind to help your army succeed in Warhammer Age of Sigmar. Coming up next. Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Selescu and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. So today we are going to take a look at a really cool unit of knights in order to help you with your City of, of Sigmar army lists. So without further ado, let us check out the Order Serpentis as we look at the Drake Spawn Knights. Now unfortunately when you order a box of Drake Spawn Knights, this is what you get. You get a white box that says Citadel, Warhammer Age of Sigmar, and Warhammer 40k. And we still have a Dark Elf Cold One Knight sticker on here, which of course is from Warhammer Fantasy 8th Edition. Now what you used to get instead of this box is a box that looked like this. And wouldn't that be a lot better to see in your mailbox instead of just something generic? But anyway, let's pull this thing open and see what's inside. So what you get is this nice instruction sheet that says Dark Elves, when it should say Drake Spawn Knights. And then you get three grey plastic parts trees. Two, three, and then a bag of the old square style Warhammer Fantasy bases, as well as a new oval Age of Sigmar style. The instructions are a simple one-page folded affair and have all the details that you need in order to put your model kit together. On the first page we have an explanation of all the symbols that are used throughout the instruction sheet and what their meaning is. Followed by the basic tools you will need to complete your model. Unfortunately there are no paints in here. So our first panel deals with the Cold One Dread Knight. And as you can see you could either equip him with a sword or with a lance. However, if you want to use these in Age of Sigmar, the only equipment they have is the Lance. Next, we have the assembly steps for our Cold One Musician. And here you can see the Lance. And he's also carrying a horn. And the Cold One is actually a simple model consisting of four pieces. You have the right and left hand side body, the right and left hand side head. And as for the Knight, he's got two legs, a front and back chest piece, two arms, a head, and a shield. Here we have the Cold One Standard Bearer, and he does consist of the same pieces as the rest of the Cold Ones. However, this time around, he's got a special identifier on his helmet, which is this sort of ringed affair. And then you do have a choice of which banner topper you would like for your standard. Finally, we have the remainder of the Cold One Knight, and here we've got all these different types of helmet attachments that you could put onto your knights. And they are again carrying that barb lance. You also get the option of several different shields to choose from. Our first parts tree consists of three of the drake spawns, or cold ones. And as you can see, the detail on them is very nice. You can actually see the way Games Workshop did all those scales on there, as well as the ropes and harnesses. And again, these are very amazing models. I do believe this set came out in 2011 originally and was quite a nice addition for Warhammer Fantasy 8th edition. And again, there's some of the chest plates for the different knights and amazing, remarkable parts trees. Our next parts tree gives us the remaining Drake spawns and all their different heads here. And then we start to get the components that make up the knights which includes their legs and some more chest pieces. And again, you can see the excellent chain mail and bootstraps on all of these guys, as well as the different heads for your drakes. Again, very nice work from Games Workshop. They always do make great looking models. Last but not least, we have all those different barbed spears, as well as the shields and our banner and the horn. And again, you can see the great detail on these shields, all the different emblems and crests. Again, these were part of the Dark Elves way back in the day. But again, a lot of that iconography is still on these parts trees. So Games Workshop didn't really do anything to eliminate them. Ma amazing work, I'll say again. There's the banner toppers there and there. 
turning them over you can see the skulls hanging off the bottom again very nice work excellent stuff look at all the hands on the shields on the backs there and then there's our heads for our knights and you can see the little holes in there for adding on those helmets the little toppers again there's some interesting things like this club hammer but again very nice work from the games workshop now, in case you're wondering how Drake Spawn Knights would work in your Warhammer Age of Sigmar games, well, here is the card from the Cities of Sigmar set. And as you can see, they have a 10 inch move, two wounds, a three up save, and seven bravery. So these models are excellent at getting into the enemy's face at the beginning of the game with a move of 10. And then they will be strong in here with a save of three. And one other thing that's really cool is they have the Lance Charge. This unit's barbed lances have a rend characteristic of minus two instead of minus one, and a damage characteristic of two instead of one if this unit made a charge move in the same turn. So again, these guys would end up making a really good hammer unit. They are excellent in combination with the Order Serpentis in your Cities of Sigmar army lists. Well, I hope you enjoyed that look at our Dark Elf Cold One Knights, otherwise known now as the Drake Spawn Knights. And if you've used this unit in your Battles of Warhammer Age of Sigmar, let us know down in the comment section below and show your pictures of your knights over on our Facebook page. I will leave the link in the description. Well, I hope you enjoyed that unboxing video where I got to show you the Drake Spawn Knights from the Order Serpentis. And if you've built this unit, how does it help you in your battles of Warhammer Age of Sigmar? We'd love to know down in the comments section below. So if you like these videos, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this channel with all your friends and family. Pound the notification bell so that every time I uh, put in a new video, you're the first ones to see it. And until next time, everybody, happy wargaming.